Hi, and welcome back to the Sunday Morning Solutions here on Tierney Education's YouTube page. My name is James Tierney, and I'd appreciate it if you subscribe, like this video, maybe leave a comment, so that we can grow our community of people learning economics and how to be successful in that world of higher education. Today, we are going to go over an intermediate microeconomics question, and I have the information right up here. You see in this question, we're given some information, we're given some data. We know that this individual needs four sugars per cup of coffee. We're given the price of sugar, the price of coffee, and our budget. But before we use these numbers in an application, let's make sure you're comfortable with the theory. And the theory is showing us, right, that we need to use all of our budget. How do we figure that out? Well, let's think about what we're spending, right? We know that the price of sugar multiplied by the number of spoonfuls of sugar that we end up purchasing is the amount we'll spend on sugar. But we're also going to see the price of a cup of coffee times the number of cups of coffee is going to be how much we spend on coffee. And therefore, that has to equal the total budget. If these are not equal, if I'm spending too much or too little, I'm not optimizing with the amount of money that I have to spend on these items. So this is what we call our budget constraint. Our budget constraint. We are constrained by our budget and this is what we quote unquote need to spend, right, to optimize this problem. This is going to be key. Now, we also know that there's gotta be some sort of what we're given here is we are given a need for sugar per cup. What this is actually telling us, this is telling us that we have perfect complements. If you remember what a complement is, and this is a complement with an E, they go together, it's perfect, I always need some sort of X per Y, right? In this case, I need some sort of amount of sugar per cup is going to equal something. Again, that could change. This number here could change. So I'm not putting it up here in the theory, I put it into the application. And what this is gonna give us is this is going to give us two equations. And hopefully, you'll be left with only two unknowns and we can solve an equation of two unknowns if we have two equations. Well, I know that the price of sugar is 25 cents. So I've got 0.25. I don't know the amount of sugar that we're gonna buy, so that's gonna be times S, plus I know the price of coffee is one, times coffee equals 12. This is our budget constraint, all right? This is our budget constraint. I know that this needs to be equal. The amount that I spend on sugar and coffee has to equal 12 in order to optimize this problem. We also know with the data that are given that four sugar per a single cup of coffee, so that means if I have sugar per cup, I need four sugar per one cup of coffee. Now I'm gonna assume you have your basic algebra knowledge down, so I'm gonna multiply C to both sides to get rid of the C, and this is showing me that S equals four C. We have one equation, two equation. We have two equations, two unknowns. Let's just go ahead and solve. And the best way we're gonna do this, we're just gonna take this and we're gonna plug it in to our first one. We're gonna take this S, we, we know for every spoonful of sugar, right? S, each spoonful of sugar is four times cups of coffee. We're just gonna plug that in here. And so what do we get? Well, we get 0 0.25 times 4C plus C equals 12. We're gonna have 2C equaling to 12 or C equaling to six. So we know that we're going to be consuming six cups of coffee. And then if I know for every cup of coffee, I need four spoonfuls of sugar, I know my spoonful of sugars is gonna be six times four, which is 24. Let's go ahead and double check this with our theory. Six cups of coffee is going to be $6. 24 spoonfuls of sugar, right, is going to be 24 times 25 cents. That's actually six plus six, which is equal to 12. So we have found the optimal combination right here of sugar and coffee that will optimize this problem. We spend all of our money, so that means these two numbers, six cups of coffee and 24 spoonfuls of sugars, will solve this problem. 
Thank you for sticking around and watching this Sunday Solution, this intermediate microeconomics course talking about optimizing when you're given a bunch of data. Again, my name is James from Tierney Education. Please like and subscribe to this page for every week, at least one, if not more videos on economics and higher education information.